48 Laws of Power. The 48 Laws of Power is a best-selling book written by Robert Greene, first published in 1998. It is a guide to understanding and mastering the dynamics of power and influence in various aspects of life, from personal relationships to politics and business. The book is divided into 48 chapters, each presenting a distinct law of power, along with historical examples and anecdotes to illustrate the principles. Here's a brief overview of some of the key laws discussed in the book. The book covers a wide range of tactics, strategies, and historical anecdotes related to power and manipulation. While the 48 Laws of Power has been both praised and criticized for its controversial and sometimes ruthless advice, it remains a thought-provoking exploration of human behavior and the pursuit of power. Readers are often encouraged to critically assess and apply the laws in ethical and responsible ways. Keep in mind that the book is often seen as a work of strategy and observation rather than a moral or ethical guide, and it has sparked discussions about the nature of power and ethics in various fields, comprehensive guide to understanding and mastering the dynamics of power and influence. The book consists of 48 chapters, each outlining a distinct law of power, along with historical examples and anecdotes to illustrate these principles. The 48 Laws of Power is a thought-provoking exploration of human behavior, influence, and strategy. The book is often used as a source of insight into power dynamics in various fields, encouraging readers to think critically about the nature of power and ethics. It's important to approach these principles with a strong sense of ethics and responsibility, using them wisely and responsibly in both personal and professional life. Certainly, here is a more detailed book summary of The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene, along with explanations for each of the 48 laws. Law number one. Never outshine the master. When you appear more capable or successful than your superiors, it can threaten their ego and position. Maintain a subtle presence to avoid arousing jealousy. Law number two. Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Friends can betray you, while enemies may provide valuable insights. Be cautious about over-reliance on friends and recognize that even adversaries can serve a purpose. Law number three. Conceal your intentions. Keeping your true goals hidden gives you an advantage. Others won't be able to anticipate your moves, making you unpredictable and powerful. Law number four. Always say less than necessary. Excessive talking can reveal weaknesses or provide ammunition to others. By speaking less, you maintain control and keep your thoughts hidden. Law number five. So much depends on reputation. Your reputation is a powerful asset. Cultivate and protect it carefully, as it influences how others perceive and interact with you. Law number six. Court attention at all costs. To gain power, you must be noticed. Attract attention strategically, even if it means being provocative or controversial. Law number seven. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. Delegate tasks effectively, but ensure that you receive credit for the results. This builds your reputation and influence. Law number eight. Make other people come to you. Create an aura of desirability that draws others to you. Position yourself as someone worth pursuing. Law number nine. Win through your actions, 
never through argument. Actions speak louder than words. Demonstrate your competence and effectiveness instead of engaging in pointless debates. Law number 10. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. Negative people can drain your energy and hinder your progress. Surround yourself with positive and ambitious individuals. Law number 11. Learn to keep people dependent on you. Foster dependency in others to maintain control. When people rely on you, you hold power over them. Law number 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. Employ honesty and generosity strategically. This can disarm people and make them more receptive to your influence. Law number 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. Frame your requests in a way that aligns with others' self-interest. People are more likely to help when they see a benefit for themselves. Law number 14. Pose as a friend, work as a spy. Gather information by pretending to be an ally while remaining vigilant and collecting valuable insights. Law number 15. Crush your enemy totally. Don't leave your rivals any chance for recovery. It's better to eliminate threats completely than to allow them to resurface later. Law number 16. Use absence to increase respect and honor. Creating scarcity by making yourself less available can enhance your value and importance in the eyes of others. Law number 17. Keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. Maintain an element of unpredictability in your actions and decisions to keep others on edge and unsure of your intentions. Law number 18. Do not build fortresses to protect yourself. Isolation is dangerous. Isolation can make you vulnerable. Maintain connections and relationships to build a support network. Law number 19. Know who you're dealing with. Do not offend the wrong person. Understand the personalities and sensitivities of those you interact with. Avoid offending powerful individuals who can harm you. Law number 20. Do not commit to anyone. Avoid binding commitments that limit your freedom. Keep your options open and maintain flexibility. Law number 21. Play a sucker to catch a sucker. Seem dumber than your mark. Appearing less intelligent or knowledgeable can disarm those who underestimate you, allowing you to manipulate them. Law number 22. Use the surrender tactic. Transform weakness into power. Presenting yourself as weaker than you or can lull opponents into complacency making it easier to strike when the time is right. Law number 23. Concentrate your forces. Focus your efforts and resources on a specific goal or target to maximize your impact and effectiveness. Law number 24. Play the perfect courtier. Blend in and adapt to your environment while maintaining your individuality to navigate social and political circles effectively. Law number 25. Recreate yourself. Continuously reinvent yourself to adapt to changing circumstances and stay ahead of others. Law number 26. Keep your hands clean. Avoid direct involvement in unethical or controversial actions that could tarnish your reputation. Law number 27. Play on people's need to believe to create a cult-like following. Exploit people's desire for meaning and belonging to gain loyal followers and supporters. Law number 28. Enter action with boldness. 
act decisively and boldly to seize opportunities and establish your presence. Law number 29. Plan all the way to the end. Think and plan for the long term, considering the potential consequences of your actions and decisions. Law number 30. Make your accomplishments seem effortless. Downplay the effort you put into your achievements to make them appear more impressive. Law number 31. Control the options. Get others to play with the cards you deal. Manipulate the choices available to others to control the outcome of situations and decisions. Law number 32. Play to people's fantasies. Appeal to people's desires, dreams, and fantasies to gain their support and loyalty. Law number 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Identify and exploit the weaknesses or vulnerabilities of others to gain an advantage. Law number 34. Be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like one. Project an image of greatness and superiority to receive the respect and treatment you desire. Law number 35. Master the art of timing. Understand the importance of timing in your actions and decisions. Act when the timing is most favorable. Law number 36. Disdain things you cannot have. Ignoring them is the best revenge. Focus on what you can control and attain, and ignore things that are beyond your reach. Law number 37. Create compelling spectacles. Stage memorable and dramatic events or experiences to capture attention and leave a lasting impression. Law number 38. Think as you like but behave like others. Adapt your behavior to conform to societal norms and expectations while maintaining your true thoughts privately. Law number 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Create chaos or disruption when necessary to exploit the opportunities that arise from it. Law number 40. Despise the free lunch. Be cautious of offers that seem too good to be true. Recognize that nothing comes for free, and there are often hidden costs or consequences. Law number 41. Avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. Do not try to directly replace or emulate a person of great influence or reputation, as it can lead to unfavorable comparisons. Law number 42. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Targeting leaders or key figures can disrupt and disorient their followers, weakening their influence. Law number 43. Work on the hearts and minds of others. Influence others through emotion and psychology rather than relying solely on logic or reason. Law number 44. Disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. Reflect back people's emotions and behaviors to disarm them or provoke a reaction that serves your purpose. Law number 45. Preach the need for change, but never reform too much at once. Advocate for change in small, manageable steps rather than overwhelming others with radical transformations. Law number 46. Never appear too perfect. Show vulnerability and flaws to make yourself more relatable and approachable. Law number 47. Do not go past the mark you aimed for. In victory, know when to stop. Avoid overextending yourself or taking unnecessary risks when you are already in a favorable position. Law number 48. Assume formlessness. Be adaptable and flexible capable of changing your approach and strategies to suit different circumstances and challenges. The 48 Laws of Power, 
offers a comprehensive exploration of the strategies and tactics individuals and groups have used throughout history to gain and maintain power. It's important to note that the book presents these laws as observations rather than moral guidelines, and readers should use them responsibly and ethically in their personal and professional lives. The book has sparked debates about ethics, strategy, and human nature, making it a thought-provoking work on the dynamics of power and influence. Yeah.